Hey guys, I'm Bunny Souls, and today we are playing Dark Souls. So we are in Sense Fortress, and this is where we died, or not this exact place, but we died in the Sense Fortress last time. So this time I'm trying something new. I'm trying to go up here. I am not sure where I'm gonna end up if when I climb up here, but we're gonna find out together very soon. There we go. So there's an item here. It's nice, but there... I was pretty sure this was gonna be... Hidden wall? Is that not right? It is. I just had to hit it. I thought I could just roll through it. I think I've rolled through another hidden door before. But that's weird. But oh well. Yeah, okay, so... There's a giant here. I think we're... Gonna have to kill him? Oh, okay, yeah. This is gonna be fun. So, I can't see his life bar. I don't know if... He has a life bar. Okay. Does he have a lot left? No. He had one hit left. Okay. Nice. So we got a Titanite chunk. 3000 souls. I'm not exactly sure what that does. But I think I meant to... I think I meant to kill him. I'm just not sure why. Why I have to kill him. I guess we're just gonna have to go back. And... Do what we were trying to do the first time again. How would I... Okay, yeah, here is the place. We came in, so I uh, upgraded the sword. This is not uh, good news, actually. So uh, yeah, that seems about right. Okay, so what I was trying to say is that I, I got enough souls to upgrade the dragon sword one more time and I'm just trying to run through this honestly I don't know if that's a good idea it probably isn't I also don't know if boulders come down here anymore I don't think they do because I turned around the thing that shoots the boulders out so I don't think the boulders are here anymore uh, I do know there is a snake dude here. But I I grinded up a few souls. I got the crest of Astora to open up the huge door in the um, forest area, uh, the moss place, and then I got. Yeah, I managed to open the door, and then I grinded up a few souls inside of that door. This is such a scary place. I always get a boulder in my face right around here, and I managed to dodge it. So I'm gonna try to push this again. I do not remember where I should push it. Probably down there. Then... Okay. So that's gonna go down there and then I'm gonna go up here. Run past this. And... 
try not to die here I think this is the one where there are they are so close that I just have to run past them managed that there is a hole in the ground right behind this dude that we figured out last time uh, the hard way So, these snakes are still a pretty tough to kill, even though we upgraded our sword uh, another time. But it's honestly. What? Did he eat my head? I don't. I can't remember ever seeing that before. I didn't know that was a thing. We have no, I don't think we have another one following us. I don't hope so. At least. Ooh, this is a narrow one, and we have a we have a magic spellcaster snake. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we got so far. That was like the last piece. That was the last piece we had to run through, I believe. Figured out last time that just running past these dudes are no problem, basically, because I can just run through this, this, and they are probably going to be taken by the axis, the swinging axis, because they are not that good at running past them. And that's really nice for me. And then I just keep running, keep running. And I keep running up here, run like this, run over here, and the arrows shoot that guy. And the other dude probably fell down as well, so pretty easy. And then I can just... Did he gonna run up? No. He was taken by a boulder, I believe. So now I can just run up here. Here. I just barely survived and I died. Uh. Oof, that was close. I got hit by a boulder. I got hit by a boulder. But I'm safe. I didn't die. Take out this dude. These guys do have a lot less. Uh, like a smaller. They take less damage before they uh, die type of situation. This is. Uh, that was a stupid idea. I should have seen those were too close. Don't know if I've been up here yet. And there's a chest here. I didn't know. Ring of steel protection. That seems good. Boost defense versus physical attacks. That's nice. Why didn't I go up here before? Oh, nice. The trap did some damage for me. I always appreciate when I can use the traps in this place for my advantage instead of just dying to them over and over. Okay, so this boulder place is. Still kinda creepy. I don't want to die to a boulder. Again, I managed to survive the boulder. Uh, 
I'm pretty happy about that. So, I'm not sure where I actually wanted to go still. I don't. I just. I'm gonna just send it out here and assume that that's not gonna do anything bad to me. And I'm. gonna. I think it changes directions on its own. I think the giant. Uh, that's on the top of this place is the one that actually decides where it where it's gonna go. I'm not completely sure, but I think it's got to do something with the giant on the top. Uh, because every time I go into this place, it's the same direction. It's just that the boulders that go down that long path where I just found a ring, that one doesn't change. But the other one does. So I don't know why that's the way it is. But I'm thinking that we are gonna find out, probably. Or, or maybe not, but you know. I'm allowed to have dreams and hopes. Did his head just... yeah. His head temporarily detached. It looked like because he went into the wall a little bit with his neck. So this is the place where I try poison. This is the snake dude. So he throws... He throws his little magic stuff. So I'm thinking... I'm not sure if I can actually... Yeah. Timing was a little off on that one. Okay, what? Yep. Am I going into the wall? That why? My plan is that even though he might not die because he has a lot of life, maybe if he doesn't die, maybe if he just falls down, that's my hope. That's my plan. Just make him fall down. Because he's standing on a tiny, tiny platform on the edge of a, as we have seen, really long fall. Like, if he falls down, he's dead, so... As we can see, because we have fell down now twice. So... I'm not asking for much, I just don't want him to be where he is at right now. Because I do not need his electricity things as, uh, as I'm... There he goes! He fell down. It worked. It worked. Now I can probably have some peace and quiet while I'm trying to pass these ones. There we go. Do I want to go in here? <sighs> what was that? Is there another trap? Because I can see that one, the square, but I, s I guess that was a trap as well. Okay, so we don't want to go down there. I think I'm just gonna keep on going, honestly. I don't want to r risk anything now that we have gotten this far. There is a fog wall here, and I think this is this place. Okay, I'm not risking oh it reset the the trap reset oh i really don't want to die out here right now okay i think there should be a bonfire here somewhere if i just don't die before i find it 
So that's the really scary part right now. It's just getting to that bonfire. And I'm not even sure if there is a bonfire. I'm just gonna run around and see what I find. I know there's a knight down there. This is a shortcut to the first bridge that we find when we go into the sense fortress but it's locked because i haven't found the key yet uh, and that's uh that's nice i'm not sure why there isn't a lot of fire here because i thought there was going to be a lot of fire here uh yeah there we go there is the explosions there is the explosions. Now this is a boss fight. This is the next boss fight. But I didn't know... Oh, a giant. Oh, that scared me. Um, I guess we're killing another giant then. Is he chilling out? Uh, not anymore. Yeah. Can you lie down again? Thank you. Okay, so he just... He has not much energy. He has to lay down and chillax for a little second after each time he goes crazy. And I... I understand. Uh. I got hit through the wall earlier, so I'm not risking that again. And there we go. That was our second giant. And I also think there is another one. He's like down there. I think that's the dude that throws the boulders around. Mm, but at least I think we're safe from tribe beast. Okay, I think that's sort of what I did, but I think we are safe from the boulders now. The problem is that the key that we need for the shortcut that I would really like to uh, open up before we try taking down the boss fight in this area uh, because the shortcut is, as you could probably tell, a really good deal. Uh, because you get all the way from here, like right next to the boss fight, and all the way down to the absolute start of Sense Fortress, so you don't have to run past anything. Uh, and I feel like that's, that's a good deal to have. Mm, I just don't... He's gonna parry me if I attack him now. I I did that one time, I'm not gonna do it again to these guys. The one dude outside of the uh, boss fight in the start did that to me. And that was a learning experience. So the boulder man, I think I can get to him, it's just a little risky I think, I think I have to jump somewhere, probably, maybe I can just shoot him actually with arrows, I will try that. There is also uh, something I need in that area, but I have to jump to get it and I'm not very good at uh, jumping. So let's just try to kill this dude slowly. Okay, so he's dead. He just stood there the entire time. He just stood still and waited for me to kill him, it seemed. 
So, I mean, I feel bad for him. Why are these sounds happening? This seems like bad sounds. Um, excuse me, sir. I just want to see what's in this chest. Flame stone plate ring. I don't think I use those that much because they basically just protect against flame attacks, I believe. And it's kind of late uh, for that since we have already done the Quelag fight. Okay, well, I'm gonna just try to pick up some items around here, just see what's around here, and then... Oh! I'm gonna do it. Here it is! I found it! The question now is where does this bring us? Does this bring us to a scary place? Um, no. It brings us back here. Okay, well then we can try the boss fight right away then. We don't really need a shortcut if we have a bonfire down here. Because that's basically a shortcut in itself. The only problem is that it's not. Is he alive again? Did he really respawn? I guess that's fair. The shortcut would kind of be better because the bonfire outside of Sense Fortress is actually kindled. So we have a and Estos flasks, and this one is not kindled, and I don't have any humanity to do it either, so I can't kindle it. Not right now. I have, I have to have two, yeah, two humanity to kindle a bonfire. One to reverse humanity, and then, or hollowing, to become human. I guess. And then... Ouch. One, two... Actually kindle it? I think the... I'm not doing a lot of damage to this dude. Uh, but I think... I think there is a, a... Kind of a cheating way to do this, where you... Take him down to the... Wow! Bridge. And then uh, break his ankles so that he falls off the bridge and just dies instantly. But I think that's hard to do with just one person because the only times I've actually tried it is with more people. <sighs> so yeah. Oh, wow. What? He grabbed me behind him? I don't think that's... Uh, why? Why are you doing this? Why are why? Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. I'm. Uh, I think he grabbed me there, but it kind of just the game kind of freaked out, and so we kind of just didn't. I guess. Oh no, he might throw me off. Yeah, he threw me off. Hmm. I prefer fighting on the bridge, but as you can see, it's not always a good idea because he can do what he just did. Hmm. I think. I think it's fine though. Oh. Oh. 
But did you see how close I was to the edge the first time he threw me down? That was kind of sick. And I wonder if I can get my souls back? I think they're stuck on top of this edge. Probably a lot, and now I'm dead. <sighs> Should I try this? I mean, why not? I already lost all my souls. And I managed to jump over. Hello, sir. So let me help you out with your soul restoration. Okay. Nothing at all. Finally. Oh. Yep. I am gonna rush in actually. This is a lot of stairs, man. I hope there's something in the bottom of this. But there we go. A little snake snake. Nice. Cage key. Is this the shortcut door? Can I have can I have ten Estus flasks again? I am definitely gonna try that. Oh no, I went out of stamina. So I'm just gonna have to jump back again as well. Oh, barely made it. Barely, barely made it. My character actually started falling down, even. I used cage key. I go into the cage. Oh, look at all those items. Are those items? They look like items. And we are gonna run from the snake because we don't want any snake business. We are back down. Sweet. Now we can run back to the bonfire that are kindled and have a good time all over. Now we just have to run past these guys and run past these axes. And that is not my cage. This is my cage. Do not attack me while I'm going into my cage, please. There we go. That's the shortcut. It's a really nice shortcut, though, from all the way from the start and all the way into the uh, end. From the start to the beginning would be great, but this is actually great. And now we have... 10 Estus flasks, and that's gonna help out a lot against the giant, the, the giant thing, golem, iron golem. Do not drink Estus flasks because that's against the law. If it's not me doing it, then it's okay. Okay, well then. I don't know if... Uh, fighting up here is easier. I don't really feel like it is. It might be. I'm just... Um, hitting the air doesn't help. Ooh, I actually managed to shield my way through that one. 
that doesn't really do a lot of damage. I changed into some heavy armor just when I walked into Sense Fortress this time because I used the uh, very light armor that I used for the Quillag fight because in the Quillag fight I wanted to be fast more than strong to dodge her attacks more efficiently. Uh, but in this fight, I don't really need that because he's so slow. I don't really need to be very fast. I just need to be able to take a few hits. That's the most important part. Oh, come on. Give me some... Give me some damage here. I two-hand my weapon when he's on the ground because... I don't really need my shield when he doesn't even attack me. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot more than the last one. I'm gonna run. Uh, and drink an Estus Flask and hope he doesn't shoot me with this, like, beam thing. That one. That didn't do much, so it's okay. And didn't hit me with that one. Yeah, nice. I don't want to stay behind him, now in front of him, I want to stay behind him. That's how it was. Just because uh, he can't hit me as easily when I'm behind him. D he stepped on me so I jumped up into the air and over the wall and... Oh, that's so stupid. That's not even my fault, come on man. I'm gonna do one last try today, just because I am uh, tired and I don't have the energy to record much more. So we are gonna have to make this worth it. We are gonna have to really, wow, do kind of not like that and just, you know, actually be good. Kind of grabs between his legs, that's interesting. I wasn't aware of that. Okay, so he grabbed me. And I'm dead. So that was my last try today, you guys. What a nice way to end a video. Okay, you guys, so that's it for today. Thank you for liking this video and subscribing if you want to see more. Remember to click the notification bell. And uh, let's take down this Iron Giant uh, next time. Have a nice day and bye bye.